I'm Ashmail12.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a digital clock using JavaScript. Now this clock isn't going to be um, you know, the most beautiful clock in the world, it's just going to be just numbers. Um, but I am planning on doing a video which converts this into um, using you know, proper numbers using images to make it look like a better digital clock. Um, so, blank page, um, and I've linked in jQuery, although jQuery is only used to reference or add stuff into the div we're going to create so you don't really need to use jQuery but I just prefer jQuery as an alternative to JavaScript even though most of the work um, here is actual JavaScript because they provide you know the, the, the functions to actually get to the time and stuff like that um, so first of all we want to create a div called uh, called clock or slash div I'm going to create a script. Fast slash JavaScript. Now you could do this in an external file, which I probably would as well, but um, just for the purpose of this tutorial, then I'm just going to keep it like this. Um, now, um, to get the date, JavaScript has a built in function which um, gets the date straight into a string but it only works for 12 hour clocks so I'm just going to show you the 12 hour clock one for now so 12 hour clock and then I'll show you how to get the 24 hour clock because you do need to do that manually getting the hours the uh, minutes and the um, what do you call it the seconds so if I just go like that okay um far day equals new date object um, what we actually do need first though is um, var interval right, this basically allows us to run whatever code inside an interval every so many seconds you specify so here we specified a thousand which is a thousand milliseconds which is equal to one second so every second what is in this interval here so this code here is going to run every one second okay um, so then we basically just say um, clock.html um, date dot um, to kiln time string okay and that's basically it but that will only get 12 hour clocks if I just refresh there we go now as you can see when I first refreshed there's nothing there for a second so what you can do as to just get around this is just outside the uh, interval um, if you just go to clock Oh, .html, and you can just put in loading in that just to see that there is something there and it's waiting to be loaded in even though it's not loading it's just waiting for a second because you specified that um, you could just do straight off um, this but um, it is a bit buggy but you know um, so that's 12 hour clock now to get 24 hour clock what you do need um, if I just copy and paste this, 24. Um, I forget what did that line actually. Um, what you do need to do is get the hours, minutes, and date. So hour equals date dot get hours. That's it. Um, var minutes equals get minutes simple as that but what what we're going to do here is if the minutes is less than 10 then minutes is going to equal um, 0 plus minutes because um, what happens is when it gets them when it gets minutes and seconds if it's below 0 and maybe the hours as well I'm not too sure on that but I've not tested it before 10 o'clock, so, well, 9 o'clock, or 10 o'clock, should I say, in the morning, so I'm not too sure about hours, so 
you could maybe have a look into that but what happens is when you've got the time say that's the time it gets the it gets it like that so what we want to do is put a zero in front like that so I hope that makes sense and the same with the seconds and maybe with the hours as well but I've not really done I've not really tested it before like I said before 10 o'clock so I don't know um, if it actually does it might do if these two do then I'm pretty sure the hours would do so that's maybe something to look into um, when you're doing this Okay, and then basically just put all this together. So um, clock.html is hour plus um, colon plus um, minutes plus colon plus seconds. So if we try that. Oh, <laughs> not changing. Um, let me just see. All uh, right, I think I know I've missed off. I missed off the date dot get minutes and date that get seconds. You'll probably figure that out before I did when you were watching along. So now, actually, I've been looking at here, to see what was wrong. Uh, it's not very fresh. Hopefully. There we go, and that that is believe it or not in 24 hours. Um, so if you want the AM and PM, which I don't really know why, because 24 hours means it's you know AM and PM. It's if it's before 12, it's AM. If it's after 12, it's PM. You know, 14, 15. Um, but if you do want to have the AM and PM, what you can do is here. If you do if um, if hour is greater than or equal to 12 then var am pm let's say equals um, if it's greater or equal to 12 then it's pm else var am pm equals am and then you just add it onto the end of this so plus then we'll do a space AM PM. There we go, and it's saying it's PM, which it is. So that's how to do a simple clock using J, well JavaScript, not really jQuery. Um, so thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.